full and uncut versions available on Patreon. Check in the description below. Greetings, mythical warriors. Diz Diz Din here with Lego Monkey Kid, a series that started back in 2020 that has gained a good deal of popularity. Every once in a while, Lego tries to bring out a big IP that'll catch people's attention at the beginning of every decade. Not to say that they aren't doing that every decade long, but it it goes without saying that they're trying to push certain things. You had Bionicle back in the t early 2000s, you had Ninjago back in the 2010s, and it seemed like Monkey Kid was the next big thing on the block. And while it hasn't gained massive popularity and appeal, it has gained a good deal of popularity, mostly because of its animation. And that's because the animation is produced by none other than Flying Bark, a studio that I'm very familiar with because of things such as Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Glitch Techs, as well as the fact that they're hopefully still working on an up coming Avatar The Last Airbender movie, animated of course. I think there's one other production that I'm forgetting, but let me know in the comments what your favorite thing by Flying Bark is. Now I know that later down the line, I believe in the fifth season, which I didn't even know the series was still going, I thought it ended after three seasons, it goes over to Wild Brain Studios, formerly DHX. A uh, studio that's been around for a good long while, almost a decade now, and they've had a lot of productions, it's just that their productions are usually a uh, very minimal cost. They don't put as much effort into things as Flying Bark. They're serviceable, yeah, but they're not the end-all be-all animation company, so I'm interested to see what changes are made by the time I get to that point. But this is a series that I've heard great things about, again, mostly because of its animation, and I'm interested to see where it goes. In terms of the story, I'm actually not sure. I don't know if the Monkey Kid is the Monkey King reincarnated, his son, him trapped in the body of a child, uh, it could go anywhere from that. But naturally, it's based off of Journey to the West, a story about a traveling monk, sometimes depicted as female in Japanese retellings, who ends up traveling with a transforming horse that is in turn actually a dragon, I believe, a pig monster of sorts, a, a river ogre, who dwells in sandy areas, and sometimes I think there's like an additional character in there as well, someone with like a third eye, which are all Dragon Ball characters if you mostly know it from that media. I don't know if the third eye person is a companion or just an adversary or what, but I think there's always like one other companion, I think. But that's about all I really know, so I'm going into this blind, so Join me on this journey through the legend of the monkey kid, won't you? Ooh. Okay, this already looks good. Okay, I gotta go back a little bit. Ah, look at these backgrounds. Ah. <laughs> okay, the monkey king, flock of animals, the dragon, oof. Man, these, each of these is a work of art. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the horse who is the dragon, the pig. Oh, this is the scholar, okay. The Buddhist monk and then the ogre. Ooh, my God. <laughs> Dude, look at this animation. Oh, and the giant bull that he ends up fighting. Okay, and then you have a Rita Repulsa looking like sorceress character. Huh. And then the giant bull demon or ox or whatever. Cause I know that there's the flaming mountain and all that. That's the usual tale too. And he has the extending staff. Okay. Dude, this animation is beautiful. Story is never finished. Monkey Kid, a hero is born. He's a magical crane? Oh, yep, Demon Bull King, right? Well, he didn't really so much as attack, did he? I'm not sure about the legend, but I know there's a Demon Bull. God, this looks so good. Oh, no one but the Monkey King? Yes. Oh, yeah. There was some weird thing about his staff. Dude. Wait, he's not voiced by Sean Schemmel, is he? Hold on. Okay, no, wait a minute. I, I'd recognize that grunting from a mile away. 
Monkey King voiced by Sean Tremel. Okay. Oh my god, I didn't know that. That is cool. Dude. Dude. Oh, yep. The transforming staff. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, the overpowered Monkey King. Oh yeah. And he can take off his hair and turn it into clothes of himself. That's also from the legend. Yeah. Dude. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Yes! See, that's the one thing Dragon Ball never really did anything with. Yes, the pull can extend, but it can also increase in size. It doesn't just have length, it also has girth. I'm so sorry for that. Oh, and he's on the, um, what? Kin Kintoku? Kintoku Cloud? The Powerpole de Nyoibo, and the Ki Kitonki? Kitoko? Uh, Flying Nimbus Cloud, whatever. Jeez, <laughs> the Bull Demon looks bigger in every shot. Dude. Oh, yeah, the power of a transformation. <laughs> oh, he's not down yet? Jeez. Whoa. Oh, he seals him under the mountain. Yeah. Cool. Wait, he vanished? Interesting. Oh, thousands of years later. Yeah. Jeez. Monkey kid. Okay, so it's both futuristic as well as still has the old culture. Honestly, it's just Ninjago all over again instead of it's just that instead of going with the Japanese ninja futuristic aesthetic now we go with Chinese martial arts futuristic mystical aesthetic oh drawings okay it's the scholar guy talking about this is that Jack Senna? yeah it is huh jeez voice actors from Dragon Ball and Avatar man this is an all-star cast oh Steven Bloom is also involved in this cast oh jeez okay go off MK hmm. unauthorized autobiography so is he a descendant or a reincarnation oh oh man this is all the mythology huh dog Dajan Yang? Huh. Noodles. Nice. Oh, Pigsy. Right. And Tang. Huh, oh, okay. Jeez. Okay. The pig is a grouch. War. Oh, is he feuding with some brother of his? Longest noodles. Oh, he's really just across the street. Then again, finding locations for a business isn't always easy. And you don't want to have to be the one to leave. So you got to make yours the best in the city. <laughs> just kicked it for 100 points. <laughs> Yep, got that free meal. <laughs> this is definitely the same kind of humor from Rise. Though I don't know if it's the same writers. Ah, uh, deliveries. Nancy. Dude, I know the feeling. Cracked phone. <laughs> Although I have a screen protector, so that takes the brunt of the injuries. Ooh, the soundtrack in this is going off. See, while I do appreciate the style that Ninjago is currently in, 3D animation back in the early 2010s and even before that uh, wasn't always the best for animated shows. It's only just now starting to like really hit that stride because there's composite work of 2D and 3D work interacting and melding together. 2D animation, on the other hand, oof, man, people might look down on it, especially studios, because it's very costly. But you cannot look down on the quality. A good 2D animated work can still look good years later down the line. Whereas bad 3D renders, ooh, they only get worse with time. This just looks good. And so far, Monkey... Well, I was about to say Monkey Kid has lasted longer than most Flying Bark productions, but... Well, four seasons, that's, that's still longer than most Flying Bark productions that I'm we're usually fond of god i just love the look of all this oh do not enter uh let me guess he's gonna accidentally pull out the staff <laughs> i love this kid what? uh oh mother okay who are you people wait the iron queen she's the wife of the demon bull isn't she or daughter i huh how does this work the staff okay i gotta I'm sorry, I keep looking up voice actors, but Princess Iron Fan, yeah. Gwendolyn Yao. Yo, what what do I know her from? Karai and Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, there it is. I think she's other things too, but I, I love the fact that I still have people from Rise. Oh, that's great. Oh, I know her from something else though, too. There's something 
big. Invincible Iron Man as Lee May. Okay. Green Lantern Emerald Knights as Blue. Okay. The Dark Knight Returns as Little Chang. Okay. She was in What's New Scooby Doo. She was in Zatch Bell. Ooh, the life and times of Juniper Lee. Heck yeah. Impossible Hellboy. Mercy and the Batman. There it is. Domino from Wolverine and the X-Men. I'm like, I, there's something that I know that voice from that really stands out to me. But she has been in a lot of stuff. Ooh, Lady Shiva and Young Justice. Okay, yeah. But it, it's Domino from Wolverine and the X-Men. That's the one. I'm like, I know that voice from something. Yeah. Don't touch it. He's gonna touch it. Yep. The love of the bull demon. Oh, wait. Isn't that... The bird form that the Monkey King had? I'm still not sure how this all works. Okay, are these bull guys human? Demon? Are they robots? What are they? Oh, robots. <laughs> nice. L nice reference of Lego. Is this the guy with the third eye? The, the little dot on his head? Oh, he's Red Boy. Okay. I, I don't know the full details. Neza, but should have fire skills. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, don't know all the details, but I'm like, okay, I know who this is based off of. Or, no, is Red Boy someone else? I don't really know. Red Sun. Yeah. Okay. Specialized gauntlet. <laughs> Epic shots. Jeez, there's so much personality in the way these look. Oh, you sure you got this, buddy? Oh, oh, jeez. Jeez. Oh, oh, he actually did it. Oh, dang. Yeah, I didn't know if you would actually pull it off. <laughs> Are you sure this is the right mountain? And you've been waiting for what, like a thousand years? After 10,000 years, I am free! I will admit, I'm actually glad that it wasn't MK who accidentally ended up unleashing this ancient evil. <laughs> that would be some guilt tripping right there. Oh, rise! Rise! Awaken! 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 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck! That is Steve Bloom. Nice. <laughs> and you have Sean Schemmel as the Monkey King. You have Steam Bloom as the Demon Bull. Just, <laughs> I, sorry, I can't, I can't stop kind of fanboying over this. Oh, wait, he's not. No, he wouldn't, jerk. <laughs> he's Miss Demon Bull King and his Demon Bull. Let me stop. <laughs> I did it, father. Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay, I thought he was going to be mean. It's just like, no, 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 hey, did Fine work, son. Like, oh, touching family reunion of evil, but still touching the Demon Bull family. Okay, are we sure that's not the Monkey King jerking around? <laughs> that is so intimidating. Uh, you might want to run. Wait, who ordered the noodles? <laughs> you ruined my moment. Ooh, I love the postulating. <laughs> like, move the foot. Ah, oh, he wants to show off for daddy. What is that, man? See, I... <laughs> He has an intimidating look, but it's just like, eh, go for it, kid. Noodle boy. Are you listening to me postulate? He goes from a 5 to an 11 so quickly. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's not impossible. It's improbable, but not impossible. Jeez. <laughs> Every scene outdoes itself. I love that. I'm supposed to be on my break. He's channeling the power of an Anami. He's gone into overtime. Oh, Princess Red fan has a Princess Iron fan has an Iron fan. No. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. It has a get the heck out of here function. <laughs> That's wild. Uh, do something then. Yeah. It's like kid, you're starting to. We're on my patience at this point. Oh, does he have the cool? Ah, it's not that cool. I know. Second, th second look. That is actually that cool. That's totally the Monkey King. <laughs> Staff has a friggin' mind of its own. <laughs> yeah, that's some kind of demon tow truck. That's cool. I'm surprised it fit down this narrow pathway. Oh, oh no, not the noodles. <laughs> Again, always up to an eleven. <laughs> Ooh, I hope you have insurance. God, this is so wild. You did not lose him. Oh, oh, actually, that makes a lot more sense than anything. It's the fact that it's just like, yeah, I can't handle all that you're doing with me right now. Oh, well, 
Pigs is gonna have to get in line if he wants to kill you. <laughs> Grand Theft Hoverboard. Nice. I'm coming to get you, Noodle Boy. <laughs> the animation in this is so crazy. See, there it is. I'm like, th there's no way you can keep fitting down these narrow freaking street corners, man. Right? Bail. Oh, what? He does have a cool bike. Nice. Moving under construction. Bridge out? Yo. <laughs> buy the toy, buy the toy, buy the toy. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, that hoverboard didn't last too long. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, the dragon girl. Yo, that's a cool bike. I am not kidding you. I hope your bike can fly, buddy. Ooh, yeah. Should have at least had one more transformation. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love the way that bike sounds. Yo! <laughs> Diva May. Okay, yet another voice I have to look up. Cause this sounds familiar. May. Stephanie Che? Okay. Oh, she's been in a lot of anime. And animation. Like, a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Mamini and Fully Kuli, Penny and Zatch Bell, Hinata from Naruto, oh, yep, yep, IGPX, Samurai Shampoo, Loop on the Third, Eureka, she's Eureka, Eureka, so there it is, yep, yep, okay, Orihime and Bleach, yep, 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 <laughs> I'm like, this voice is very familiar, and there's a reason for this, wow, she, ooh, man, uh, mm, just, just so many characters. So many characters. <laughs> wow. Shoot, she's even in the new Ranma one half. Or Ranma half, however you pronounce it. Oh, God. Jeez. She has long, long voice acting. And the longest list seems to be the video game she's voiced in. Holy crap. No, no. Second longest list. And the first longest is the anime she's dubbed. J woof, woof. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died, but you didn't. Uh, I love the rationality. Monkey Mac. Uh, I feel like she's a little detached from reality. What? Oh, oh, what is that button? Zero stars. That is literally nothing, May. That is not a good review. Oh, and he bailed. And he's in your place of work. Just enter. Uh, Red Sun, you didn't. Oh, is that how they make their minions? I feel like that's how y'all should make Lego. Oh, he's all decked out. Oh, okay. So you made a suit of armor that can only be powered by the staff that you lost yep okay other things can become energy oh okay oh i get why you need the staff because the staff is like an almost infinite mass source and so it could just keep going but you can fuel the fire that is the bull and they're in the flaming mountain and all that good stuff grand expensive oh, okay so he has to consume very expensive like items oh god oh. Story. Oh god, those ditches. <laughs> That's a lot to unload. It's just a story. Show off the staff. Looks cheap. <laughs> you found the stick. How are you gonna prove it? Powerful extent? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Jones is out. Wait. He went for the expensive shoes. <laughs> Trending Demon Bull King. Wait, is he actually waiting in line? <laughs> Everyone's on their phone. Most realistic thing possible. Ooh, man, walking in like a G. Again, going crazy with the animation. Hey, can the Demon Bull King, can he change his size? Yeah, I think, yeah, I guess he can. Because he was all over the place back in the opening scene. He yells above. That is Steve Bloom voice acting as well. Dang, that's far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> PPK. Oh, out of the way, buddy. Back of the line. <laughs> I'll be taking your shoes. <laughs> you still gotta wait in line. Oh, bye bye shoes. Jeez. All that with just one. What happens when he absorbs all of them? Pumped up kicks indeed. Golden was better than limited edition. Uh, one of a kind. <laughs> oh, it's a light day about to drop the hottest rap out of Oh my god. <laughs> Oh man, that's wild. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's everything I wanted from Rise, just all over again. Ah, oh, he's not still wearing the shoes, dang. Oh, my scooter! Jeez. This is just when the shredder appeared and Rise all over again. <laughs> again, these shots are so crazy! Oh man, it is just dripping 
with swag every scene. Oh man. Y'all need to find a new mode of transportation. Flower Fruit Mountain. Huh. The Chiefy Salt. Huh. Doing the anime eye thing. <laughs> what a coward. Oh, he knows the guy. Is it gonna be the River Ogre dude? Rage Build Warrior. Sandy, yeah. He's gonna be a big softie, isn't he? Wait a minute. I know that voice too. Yeah, that's Patrick Seitz. Again. Why do you have all these amazing voice actors? It's just legend after legend. Freaking Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Kim Pachi from Bleach. What else? Uh. Loth from Full Metal Alchemist, Laxus from Fairy Tale, <laughs> Ragna the Blood Edge from Blaze Blue if you ever played it, Endeavor from My Hero Academia, Jiren from Dragon Ball Super. He's even played Thor in Marvel Future Avengers. Oh, he also plays Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. Legends. I don't know if he plays Scorpion in all Mortal Kombat stuff. Yeah, he he's in a lot. He, he's in a lot of stuff. Like, you got veteran voice actor after veteran voice actor in there. Aw. You want some tea? <laughs> this guy is dangerous. He's got the kitties. <laughs> What's going on, Pigsy? Okay, now I'm kind of wondering who's the voice of Pigsy. Dave B. Mitchell. I do kind of feel like... Wait, this isn't... He didn't voice Oolong back... Hold on. No, he's fairly newer. Okay, no, it's video games. Okay. That's mostly what he's done in the past. But nobody I really recognize. At least me not personally. Sector and Mortal Kombat and Knuckles and few Sonic things. Yeah, yeah, not one I, I really recognize. See? Therapy is a good thing. Tea, yoga, therapy cats. Aw. Doing the cutesy looks. Aw. Anything for Pigsy. Lift her head around like this. Some of the Lego figures who have the different faces on each side. Oh, man. Launch sequence. What's the launch sequence? Now why does the cat know how to do it? Whoa. Whoa. What the what? Dude. Nice. Oh, one of the bull minions. Red Sun. Wait. Do they only talk in grunts? Oh, again, once again, up to 11. Oh, seriously, y'all just pop in the frame with the most outrageous amounts of animation possible for a single scene. <laughs> my sweet useless boy. Ooh, it's mama's time to shine. God, oh my God. You really should stop playing with that. <laughs> You really need to learn how to control that thing, kiddo. Oh, Flower Fruit Mountain. Oh, whoa. Oh no, the cargo. I hope that wasn't important. Whoa. Oh, steam vents. Flaming Mountains. Gotcha. Volcanic Ring. Huh. Pigsy, you could always just wait in on the boat, boat dude. Oh god. Don't become a fried pig. Yeah, you need to use Princess Iron Fan's fan with the Flaming Mountain. Speaking of Princess Iron Fan. Ooh. Run, 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 run. Oh. I love the over-exaggeration of every movement. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, oh, she has the glove now, too. Dang. Oh, oh okay. I thought she was gonna flick him. Oh, she did. Nice. Oh, jeez. Uh, May, can't you do that weird transformy thingy you did previously? <laughs> bail, bail, bail. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. He didn't, he didn't even come with, dude. Dude, you're a noodle shop owner. Unless you have some magical powers you've been holding on to, I don't know what you could have done. <laughs> He said that. He said that with the cutest smile imaginable. Jesus. Oh, got the staff. Jeez. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why did you just turn your arm into a Mega Buster? Jeez. Turned into a Blastoise, too. Well, that's not good. Okay, I figured you probably weren't dead. It's the pilot episode. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> shoe monkey, shoe. Huh. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Post-traumatic stress. Yeah, Peach Mountain. Oh, Flower Fruit Mountain. Honestly, background art going hard. Okay, what's the relation between MK and the Monkey King, though? Oh, okay, that's not normal. Okay, Moses. Oh, man, seriously. His backgrounds are gorgeous. And that's the original story of Journey to the West. Yeah, Monkey King. Sun Wukong, hey! I love that. Oh, having some kind of 
supernatural vision in Monkey King's Born from the Stone, Dragon of the East, and the adventures with the River of Gear and the Pig Monster. Oh, okay. Who are these other characters? I see the Demon Bull King, Princess Iron Fan. But who are these other guys? Hmm. So is it a reincarnation thing, or? Yeah, it's not really him. It definitely looks like he used to live here. That's the Monkey King, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Based. Going through a variety of forms of bear. Nice. What an entrance. <laughs> Worse by staff. Dude, you were there. Why didn't you grab it? Yeah, watching you like a jerk. He ordered the noodles. Why didn't you give him a bad review then? Uh, yeah, Monkey King is also kind of a jerk. Oh, wait, they're not related? I mean, his brain is probably mush, but are those peach chips? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is about right. Monkey King is kind of a kind of a tool. <laughs> and okay. The main character is called MK. What does that stand for? Is it actually Monkey Kid? If so, man, your parents were terrible. You just gotta believe. The power of your heart. Take it back. See, I expected some kind of training montage, but I guess a pep talk works too. Uh, how are you gonna... How are you gonna get back? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what was in the shipping container? Is it a cool ship? Whoa. Buy the toy, buy the toy, buy the toy. See, I always use that as a joke, but this is literally just buy the toy, the series. Any Lego property. <laughs> oh, I, I always make that joke, but it's like that. I, I, I feel kind of stupid when I make that joke now, because that's, that's literally what it's for. I don't know if there were notes in the actual script or if it was notes from Lego to so be like, hey, Make sure you make it so that we have as many play sets as possible. <laughs> yeah, how do you... Wait, did this have a ages 8 plus, like most LEGO sets? <laughs> well, hey, I guess as long as you have a standard license. Jeez. Purple energy beams. Bull minions. Oh, piggy power! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the secret weapon. Barrels. Strike a pose. Okay, only May we've actually seen do any actual combat, so I'm not sure what the rest of you guys are gonna do. You, oh, May. Oh, you gonna do your cool techno thingy? Unleash the dragon. Oh, oh, come on, MK. She was gonna do something cool again. Oh, <laughs> right in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> It just keeps going! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then we immediately destroyed it. <laughs> Don't worry. He's a master builder. We can rebuild it. Wait, no. Wrong series. Yeah. Did you find the Monkey King? Yes. Where is he? He's Not coming. He didn't say it's up to us. He said it's up to you. <laughs> you just want to bring them along. Again. Size objects in anime may appear larger than you expect. Seriously, how do you fight this? I don't, I don't think believing in yourself is gonna really cut it here, but sure, whatever. He said, I'll stop the Demon Bull King. How? <laughs> of course, of course, something else could pop right on out of it. Nice. And of course, um, Monkey King is watching. Jeez. I think it looks like an Akira bike. Oh, 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 Jesus. What the heck? He is a master builder. And it's also kind of creepy because you can see the Demon Bull King's bone. Ew. <laughs> um, huh. That is wild. Yep, get down. See, can that interface work with people going into the engine or? I'm also surprised we don't see people panicking in the street. Jeez. Oh, oh, the rock how i don't know how you knew you could do that but okay oh it, but, but but the headband wasn't originally part of monkey king that that was a way of keeping him restrained and whatever i shouldn't criticize that i don't know what i'm really talking about how else are you gonna symbolize the monkey king's power <laughs> nice nice changing staff oh unnecessary that's property damage oh he's gonna try to seal him oh yeah not gonna fall for the same trick twice. Ooh, ooh. Oh, monkey mech fighters. And hey, the monkey king says believe in yourself, you might as well. The monkey kid. I guess it's finally time for his son Gohan to shine. Okay, where is this coming from? What? Monkey mech? What? What? 
Okay, when did we turn into Gurren Lagann? Oh, what? Okay, I, there, there's believing in yourself, and then there's literally Gurren Lagann-ing a whole mech out of thin air. Like, what? Jeez. Okay, so you destroyed the world. <laughs> Cause the cosmos to shift. Nothing is impossible if you just believe. MK owned. Oh my god. You think you're all that, but you're not. <laughs> yeah, nice postulating, buddy. Wait, what about Princess Iron Fan? Yep, there we go. There we go. Gotta bail the boys out. Of course they can run away. We got a few more seasons to at least milk this through. Without us, the heck do you guys do? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Imagine if the city got destroyed. I mean, it's more realistic to a certain degree, but still. Okay, and where, where's that you know, mech gonna go? You keep saying you did it with your friends. Your friends didn't do Jack Diddley. Okay, what's his actual name? Name, though. Oh my god. Go eat some noodles. <laughs> okay then. And don't get me wrong, this was cool as hell. The action was awesome. But his friends didn't do Jack Diddly Squat. It's just MK unlocking the power of belief out his ass. I mean, I'm not saying that we probably won't have stuff later down the line, but still. Oh, that's cool. Transforms at the end. Okay, I gotta say I am shocked by just how much they're drawing upon the actual legend of the Monkey King, as far as I know. Again, I, I don't know the ins and out of the outs of the mythology because there's so much more to the Journey to the West story that I'm just not privy to. Shoot, I don't always I don't usually even remember the horse that's actually a dragon involved in that. But they treat it like an actual legend that happened previously, which is very interesting. I'm jonesing to see how far that ends up going in the future. Because why are there so many correlations now that there were back in the days of Journey to the West. What is MK to the Monkey King, as well as all of MK's friends? If they're not reincarnations, then what are they? Why does MK have these powers? How did Monkey King know that MK was who needed to be the next hero? Was it just Monkey King being lazy, or is there more to it than that? Is there something he's seeing that we're just not privy to? It's just the way all of this is presented raises so many questions, which is good for a series. You know, those questions have room to be filled in, to be answered, to lead to even more questions. We saw a plethora of other villains besides the Demon Bull Clan and all that. From Red Boy to Princess Iron Fan. And, you know, it's kind of weird that Princess Iron Fan didn't join in the fight. But then again, eh, what can you do? I'm really interested to see where this goes in the future. You know, how the Demon Bull King is dealt with. What role he plays. Will it just turn into a Villain of the Week kind of situation? Or will it go deeper than that? This was very interesting again my criticism still stands <laughs> mk's friends didn't do jack diddly squat they had some cool moments here and there but other than that not to mention it was like may forgot that she was a badass for all of less than a minute when she was introduced so i'm like w what was that about bring back the cool transform hologram grammy snake bike motorcycle kung fu thing you were doing and then Monkey King just believing, I mean Monkey Kid just believing in himself and unleashing all these powers. Okay, even when it came to Ninjago, we had a training session for the Red Ninja Kai to unlock Spinjitsu powers. Here, MK just had to almost die and unlock certain abilities, so hmm. I'm very curious where that's all gonna lead, but a good pilot. I'd, I'd definitely have watched this if I'd seen this pilot episode. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also remember to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Dudes Diz Din, and I hope to see you later. Till then, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>